scared? You should be. Uh, I survived my ex. I can survive anything. Visit again, if you dare. Yeah, listen, mate, I'm not hunting down the lost gold of Cortez. We all know how that went. I'm literally just getting chickens. How hard can this possibly be? Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. No, I see what you mean now. Yeah, two bales of gunpowder. That should be interesting. I think we'll get those gunpowder bells first in case we come across any unsuspecting ships. But as for chickens, uh, I have no- oh no, I do know. We have to go to Chicken Isle. There's no better place to get chickens and see your thieves than Chicken Isle. As for gunpowder bells, probably we want to go to Lost Gold Fort. They're likely to have some. And Snake Island for the snakes. Right, all of the necessary accommodations to acquire the animals have been brought on board. It is now time to set sail. Hopefully things go better this time. So for those new to the channel and or lacking context, welcome back to Sea of Thieves. There have been some changes when I last played. I decked out the ship in a swanky looking gold and red color scheme, and I gave it a name. This is now the Diamond Zephyr, and I'm very, very pleased with the state of my ship, and I'm already about to crash it into a rock. Hard to starboard, please. Let's not get ourselves into trouble this early on. The last time I played Sea of Thieves, I got my ass utterly demolished by a galleon and its four-person crew. And after that debacle, I said that I would not hunt down gold ever again, because gold just makes you a target, in my mind. So instead, I'm hunting down chickens, because I am now the newest and proudest member of, 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 of KFC of the Caribbean. Yes. I freely confess that hunting down chickens and capturing them and selling them is not as glamorous of a job as, say, hunting down lost treasure, but, you know, it pays well and it pretty much guarantees your safety at sea because, let's be honest, nobody attacks merchant vessels for some reason. Anyway, welcome to Lost Gold Fort. We won't find any chickens here. I am here because the Merchant Alliance requests two gunpowder barrels for some reason. Now, any reasonable Sea Thieves player, uh, ooh, there's a gunpowder barrel up there, probably winces at the idea of putting these things on board my ship as the first thing I do in this mission. That's just a recipe for disaster, right? Maybe, but I am not a reasonable person, and I believe that if I get attacked by something like a galleon, again, the only chance I stand against them is to have these things with me. You may mock this strategy, in fact you probably are, but realistically this is the only chance I stand against being attacked by another player. Yes, my ship has cannons, but god knows I don't know how to use them. Now, listen, I'm not completely arrogant, I do understand that I should put these up in the crow's nest, because if a player does board my ship, I really don't want them knowing that I have gunpowder barrels with me. So I'm just gonna put this up here for safekeeping. Also, just a friendly reminder that if you do enjoy this video, please leave a like and do consider subscribing. It really does mean a lot and tells me that I am doing something right. And, uh, aha! Gunpowder Barrel the second. You're coming with me. Ow! My feckin' ankles. You know, I actually did just get done recovering from a broken foot. Legitimately. About a month ago, I broke my foot while bouncing on a trampoline. Which is a bullshit way to break your foot. I mean, you you have to be a special kind of dumb to injure yourself on a trampoline. Well, gunpowder barrels are in the bag, and Chicken Isle is dead ahead by the looks of things. I believe that is it right there. So uh, let's waste no time at all and get over there and get us some juicy chicken thighs. I hope you all have had a fantastic week, though, and it's now Memorial Day weekend, which is fantastic. For those of you who don't live in the United States, well, suck it, we get this Monday off. Now, there is a player ship over there. We'll keep an eye on him. Though, worry not, because Chicken Isle is dead he Whoa, hold the phone, what is that? What is that? Eh, okay, that's a skeleton ship. That's an AI ship. And breathe! Oh my gosh, my heart just jumped out of my chest. I thought I was about to be f***ed again. For reasons unbeknownst to me or any other human, the skeleton ships treat islands like walls, so as long as we're on the other side of Chicken Isle, it simply will leave us alone. That being said, I need to check to Oh, I see chickens on the beach. I see chickens. We need a red 
speckled chicken and a black speckled chicken. I see some on the shoreline there, and oh my gosh, there's a red and a black one. There's a red and a black one. KFC mission, operation KFC, whatever it's called, is a go. Now, chickens are pack animals, okay? They hunt in herds, so the trick is not to sneak up on them. You just have to run in there, guns are blazing because they can smell your fear. Like this. Come here, chicken. Come here. Yeah. Oh, hang on. I got the wrong one. Uh, you might want to look away. Well, the deed was done. And it had to be done because for whatever reason, you can't release chickens. And there's the one we actually need. Come here, ready? Come here. Yeah, Big Red. You're coming with me. Big Red is probably having a mental breakdown because he just watched me capture another chicken in a cage, shoot it, and then put him in the cage that I shot the chicken in. So, he's probably traumatized for life now, but he's gonna be turned into chicken wings anyway, so it won't matter. And there's the black one. I will not- oh, he just went into the bush. Oh no, he came right back out. He wants to come with me. This guy wants to leave this island, and I don't blame you. It's barren, it's lonely, and there's nothing to do. You're gonna like it on my boat. We have blackjack, poker, but no girls, unfortunately. Sorry about that. Anyway, we have to go to Snake Isle now, which I believe is due west. Yeah, it is to the west. Look at me guessing correctly. I'm amazing. I believe it's right over there behind that rock. That is perfect. We will set sail. Now, where is that skeleton? Oh, I see it. It's right over there. I think they might be waiting for me. Hmm. I've had an idea. I am by no means skilled when it comes to strategic combat, or any combat, but if I can bring one of those barrels over to that ship without them seeing me, I might not even have to fight them. I don't know how good these things are at spotting approaching players. But, uh, so I'm going to... Oh, hang on, he's on the move. Oh, he's coming this way. We might be able to intercept them. Oh, this is, this is too perfect. This is too... Oh, wait, no, he's... Why are you going that way? Hey! The party's over here! D d don't don't you want to party? I have, I have a pinata. N no, they don't want to party. I think they're just buggering off. Whoa, hold the phone, Jack. That ship has stopped. That ship- I'm going. I'm going. They're stopped. This- this is my move. This is my time to make my move. Now, my plan is to stay underwater for as long as I can. Now, the concept is as follows. I swim underwater with the big bomb towards the direction of the skeleton ship. When I arrive at the bottom of the skeleton ship, I climb the skeleton ship with said bomb, using the ladders that are on the side of the skeleton ship. How many times can I say skeleton ship? That should be the name of this episode. And once I'm on board the skeleton ship, I will detonate the bomb and we win the battle. It's that simple. Oh look, there's the hole. There's the hole looming in the distance. Oh, this is gonna be so good. This is gonna be epic. Although, actually, I think I'm starting to drown. I need to go up for air. Just real quick and... Okay, back down. Go back down. Okay, it, oh wait, no, hang on, they're moving. No, they're moving, where you going? Hey, where you going? Oh, come on, no, I was so close. Oh, you know what? I think they spotted me as soon as I poked my big old head out of the water. Dang it, that was gonna be epic. Yeah, they, they just flicked off into the fog. The fog? Holy cow, where did the fog come from? Uh, okay, yeah, they're, they're going away, they're going away. Well... Back to the Diamond Zephyr, I guess. I really am bummed about that because I wanted redemption after last time's failures and I hear- I hear cannon fire. I hear it- Whoa! Whoa! Who's shooting at me? Uh, I cannot see what's shooting at me because of the fog. I assume it's the skeleton ship. Um, okay. You know what? Never mind who's doing it. We need to get- Oh, God, there's water in the ship. There's always water on this ship. We need- Jay, stop shelling the bank! We need to get the heck out of here. I'm putting this bomb up in the crow's nest. Hopefully it doesn't blow up by being hit by a cannonball. And we need to get the heck out of here, because we are just a sitting duck right now. No metaphor intended. Okay, I'm running away now. I'm just gonna sail east and hope that we bump into Snake Isle. <laughs> Oh my god, there's holes in the ship. Imagine, imagine we run into the skeleton galleon like it looms out of the fog like freaking Captain Salazar's boat from Pirates of the Caribbean. That would be epic. 
Actually, no, it wouldn't be epic. That would be terrible. Don't wish for that. Don't speak it into the universe. Anyway, we're building the boat. We're mending the holes. I'm still being shelled. I don't even know how they can see me. Actually, I do know how they can see me because they're AI and they're, you know, they're programmed. They don't actually have eyes, but that's besides the point. Point is, we're being shelled and I don't want to sink again, so I'm just leaving. I'm just leaving. You can keep the island skeletons. I don't want it. I'm going. I'll tell you what, this fog is actually kind of creepy, though, just knowing that somewhere out there is a ship that wants me dead. Okay, well, we there were no more incoming cannibals, so I assume they, that they gave up the chase, and I think I can see Snake Island looming out of the distance. Yeah, that is it. That is it. Bang on target. We are here. That's absolutely perfect. Now, we just need one snake from Snake Isle, a blue one. Should be relatively simple to get. At least, I think. Okay, we're leaving the fog now. We're no longer surrounded in mist. Snake Island! I've been calling it Snake Isle the whole time. Snake Island, we have made it. Got good news and bad news. The good news, this is the last thing that we need to collect for the mission. The bad news is that it's nighttime, so I can't actually see any of the snakes because they blend in with the underbrush. Oh, oh here's a snake on the beach. Uh, but that is a black one, though. That's not what we need. Ouch! Are you kidding me? Are you for cereal right now? You know what? I don't even care anymore. I hate feckin' snakes. I forget how long the poison lasts for. How long does this last? It, it's still go. It's not stopping. It's not stopping. Is this how I die? Am I seriously gonna die to snake poison? No, I won't have that. I won't have that. There's gotta be food in these barrels. Yes, banana. Quickly, eat. Eat, dang it, eat. Okay, we got some health back. Okay, the poison went away. Jeez, I almost died to a snake. You know, it's actually quite amazing how in a place called Snake Island, there can be so little snakes. I think I found two, approximately, since I got here. And I have checked both sides of the island twice over. So I'm going back over to this, which I believe is the far east side, in the hopes of finding a blue snake. Because maybe one spawned during the time that I wasn't here. No, that's a green snake. We don't want that. Aha! A blue snake! You're coming with me! You are coming with me! Don't look at me like that. Put your fangs down. It's okay. I promise I won't hurt you. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm just gonna take you back to my boat. Yeah, ow! He hurt me anyway! Oh, good. See, if you were not in this cage, I would shoot you just for that. Snakes are so tedious to work with. Honestly, how do people keep snakes as pets? He's gonna spit at me again. Actually, I'm gonna die. If I don't get some food, I'm not making it back to the boat. Please let there be some barrels up here. Barrels, barrels. Ow! Okay, oh, I'm on the verge of death. I'm on the verge of death. Barrels! Barrels! There better be food in here. Oh my god, there's food. There's food. Eat! Eat, please eat! Oh, that is two close calls, two close brushes with death at the hands of snakes. Encounter with a skeleton ship? No, that's fine. Came out basically unscathed. Snakes almost died twice. As soon as I get this bugger on board, we're dropping the sails and heading to port. I don't even know what port we have to go to to deliver these goods. I'm putting the snake right up at the front of the boat because I don't want him to spit at me while I'm driving. Okay, I am low on health, so I'm gonna go below decks and eat some food. I'm gonna eat some coconuts, just whole, apparently. That's the mood I'm in right now. And, uh, and then we're going to get the hell out of here after I bilge the water, because there's still water in my boat somehow. We need to sail to Ancient Spire Outpost, which is all the way over there. It's a bit of a journey, but you know what? I think we'll be able to make it, and uh, that storm is coming this way, so let's get out of here. I have brought my massive hull about, lowering the sails, and am now making way for Ancient Spire Outpost. We are on course for a successful mission. And ironically, Ancient Spire Outpost is the same outpost we were sailing to when we sank last time. Uh, I'm not sailing in the right direction. Have to go more east. Oh yeah, I'm going northeast. That's not where- Ah! Uh, what was that? Oh, the island has skeletons on it. <gasps> you! You killed my chickens! Oh, that is an inconvenience if I ever saw one. Are you kidding me? Are you for cereal? That cannibal could have hit any part of my ship, and somehow, I'm returning fire, and somehow, it managed to hit a direct hit, no less, on my chickens, and they're now both dead. Massacred. 
I mean, they were gonna be massacred anyway, but you know, I'm, I'm not gonna get paid now because of you skelly bobs. Well, I guess we gotta go get more chickens. Ah, man, that is legitimately disappointing. But you know what? We don't have time to sulk in the disaster caused by the skeletons and mourn the death of our chickens because I've adjusted course to Crook's Hollow, which as you can see is dead ahead, an island that happens to be on the way to Ancient Spire Outpost anyway. So I'm gonna make a pit stop there and hope that they have chickens. I think there are chickens on Crook's Hollow, but I don't know for sure, so this is a bit of a gamble. Well, everybody, welcome to Crook's Hollow. Uh, at this rate, we may as well do a sightseeing tour of the entire Sea of Thieves map. Ooh, I see chickens. I see chickens! Not only are there chickens, but there's a red and a black one. That is perfect. That's exactly what we need. I'm going ashore, and we're capturing those birds immediately. I'm just... Let's, let's catch the ones we need, and none else. We don't need any more unnecessary chicken deaths. Okay, because it's a loss of material. Yeah, oh, you gotta be kidding. Right as I say it, too. You know what? Yeah, I still don't regret doing that. There's there's no pain anymore. It's just, it's just good business. That's what it is. Come here, red chicken. And the black chicken as well. You know what? All things considered, this minor detour actually went pretty well. It, it could have been a lot worse. There could have been no chickens here. We could have encountered skeletons or phantoms, which we, you know, we haven't encountered any of those except for that one that fired on our ship a few moments ago. Point is, it actually went well, okay? I'm happy, I'm satisfied, we have what we need. There shouldn't be any issues now. Now we can go to Ancient Spire. Oh, hang on, there's some skeletons here. Yeah, oh, and of course, of course, it wouldn't be a Sea of Thieves episode if I didn't run my ship aground at least once. Oh, I missed that one. I got that one, though. What a shot. I got two of them. I'm happy with that. Okay. Hard to starboard. Gonna line it up and go below decks to fix the hole that I put in my ship. Okay. I say... I think we are good to go. Nearly missing that rock. That could have been really bad. And we are on our way to Ancient Spire. This rock formation that I'm approaching now is actually... The same one where my last video ended, in a great big fireball. In fact, right on the other side of that rock right there is where I sank. And fortunately, as you can see, or as I'm about to show you, uh, there aren't any galleons chasing us down, as you can see. So there is no chance of deja vu. Unless I crash into the rock like the Titanic. And there it is! We're here! Ancient Spire Outpost! My quest is at an end, pulling up the sails for one final time today. Okay, now all I have to do is park the boat. Nothing can go wrong now. Look at this, perfect parking job. Coming up parallel to the key, nice and slow. Gonna get it as close as I possibly can, and... Gonna make sure that the sails are all the way up, and I will look at this. Look at this parking job. Gonna drop the anchor for good measure. And I have made it. Welcome to Agent Spire Outpost, and the chickens can finally be delivered. Sorry for the delay. There was there was there was a, a slight cannon malfunction. And here is chicken the second. There you are. Very nice. And last but not least, I have the snake. Oh boy, the snake, and he's already spat at me. Yeah, you know what, dude, I don't care because now I've officially gotten rid of you. Hooray! Oh, now I gotta eat food until the poison goes away. I don't believe it. I completed a quest without dying!